Just a disclaimer, I am watching a Frenchie. So if you hear snorting or heavy breathing in the background, or that, that's why. Remember when YouTube was all fun and games, all shits and gigs before censorship and capitalism? Good times. No, but seriously, I vividly remember the golden era of YouTube like it was yesterday. I could just log on and watch a music video parody of I'm Too Sexy For My Shirt, but it was just clips of a cat, and somehow it was the funniest thing I had ever seen at the time. And me and my cousin literally watched it on replay for hours and showed our parents, and our parents were like, oh, haha. -ha. Yeah, those were the days. So to me, the golden era of YouTube is anywhere between the time it started, which is like 2005, February 14th, 2005. On oh, Valentine's Day. I think it started, I mean, it started getting bad when ads started. So when did YouTube, in 2007, 2008? So somewhere between 2007, eight or nine, it's not clear, 2006 even? I don't know when ads started, but I just know once ads started is kind of when the golden era of YouTube, in my opinion, was slowly dying, but not really because I still feel like the earlier era of YouTube was iconic. Anyway, I wanted to just kind of go back in time, give you a little taste of my YouTube search history from the early 2000s and kind of into the 2010s and just show you what I used to watch and what I genuinely used to think was funny and entertaining as a child and up until a teenager. Let's dive right in. The very first video that I remember watching, well actually, while we're here, while we're on the topic of first video, let's watch the very first video that was uploaded to YouTube, shall we? Alright, so here we are, one of the uh, elephants. Um, cool thing about these guys is that, is that they have really, really, really long um, fronts, and that's, that's cool. And that's pretty much all there is to say. I mean, what more is there to say, really? Straight to the point. This was at the San Diego Zoo. Aw, I actually went there and it's it's a huge ass zoo. And this is the only video this guy has 18 years ago. 18 years ago. How old am I? Um, 3.78 million subscribers. Jawid. Jawed? Why'd I say it like that? Okay, moving on. Now, the very first video that I remember watching, this is kind of what inspired me to start making music video parodies as a child. Hey! Been trying to meet you. Oh, whores in my head. Whores, where have you? Yeah, it was just two friends having fun in their bedrooms, jamming out to a song that they liked and making a music video par parody to it. And I just thought this was so fun and cute because it was like, this is literally what me and my friends do all the time. Except we're nine, nine years old. They look like teenagers, but I don't know if anyone else has seen this because not a lot of people that I've talked to about like older YouTube videos know about this, but they got 34 million views on it. So these girls introduced me to the Pixies. I have that song liked on Spotify and I listen to it and I just think of this like wholesome, nostalgic moment and it just makes me feel happy. It makes me feel like a kid again. Also in honor of the video, I have my little Powerpuff Girls shirt on because nostalgia. I kind of hate that word, but also I love that word. Does that make sense? Next, we're gonna dive into some, some stuff that I almost guarantee that you have not seen because this was like early, early YouTube. Like this is when I knew I was a YouTube kid. I loved watching other kids my age on YouTube and they inspired me to make my own videos. However, my older videos like this old did not make it to the internet, thank goodness. So there was this kid, his YouTube name was Gally Paca and he also did the music video parodies but he also had his own show, which was super ironic because I had my own show at the time. I was very famous in my household. I interviewed family members, friends, cousins, even the pets sometimes. So let's watch the Jagger report. His, his real name was Jagger. Jagger? You know, I'm just gonna admit that I don't know how to pronounce it and that's okay So this is called Gallipaka the Jagger report number two So this is up. This is a re-upload because the real Gallipaka Jagger uh, deleted his account If you're watching, I'm sorry that these are embarrassing to you But these are just like a solid part of my childhood that I can never forget <laughs> Jake Air 
report today. Jay Gare. We will be talking about food and cell phones. S O S. S O S, please, somebody. And Kelly Clarkson. Like, can we just talk about the quality of this video? Like, this is this is the quality that we started with. Like, it looks like it was recorded on a toaster. Like, it's just the prime time of YouTube right here. The foods are pasta and Jolly Ranchers. Those are the two main food groups. There's one other, carbohydrates. What carbohydrates do is make you really hyperactive and really fat, like this person. Okay, yeah, I found this entertaining and now I'm watching it. I'm just like what the fuck you kind of get the gist It's just a 10 year old with a camera. So there was another kid another kid my age So this is hedgehog. I never found out his real name, but he also made videos The following is something that I made on GarageBand and I like it Hello, yeah This is me no, my middle recording is song. This messed it up. All right, we've had enough of that. Next, this one I feel like everyone has seen at some point or another. So this is the annoying orange. They still make videos, and the first one that pops up is Murka. Hold on. Well, I'm so American. My pants are red, white, and blue jeans. Well, I'm so American. I call football soccer. Okay, I'm done with that. Thanks a lot. Whoa! You're the biggest orange I've ever seen! You must be my big brother! I'm not your brother. Yeah, you are! I'm orange, you're orange, we're both oranges! I'm not an orange, I'm a pumpkin. Pumpkin? Don't you mean plumpkin? <laughs> I'm not even laughing because it's funny, I'm just laughing because I remember thinking this was so funny. Like that laugh. <laughs> I ate that shit up. But fun fact. So there used to be this thing. I don't know if they still have it, but it was it was the annoying orange hotline. There was a, a phone number you could call and like just talk to other random people. And me and my friends would call it. It was like the Omegle for, for phones. Does it still exist? I don't even know where I found it. And speaking of annoying, let's move on to another iconic YouTube character, Fred. 15 years ago, 18 million views, Fred on Halloween. Hey, um, I'm Fred, and uh, mom, I'm not using your camera. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, I'm Fred, and I'm gonna be a wizard for Halloween. Um, the reason I'm wearing a witch hat is because my mom uh, was a witch yesterday, I mean last year. Go! Freaking stupid! <laughs> I broke the PlayStation, um, so I don't know what I'm going to tell my mom when she gets home. She um, said, uh, I have temper problems. Yeah, I remember Fred just having a lot of like mom issues like his mom was like an alcoholic like party girl or something. I really don't know. I just remember him always like talking about how his mom yeah, obviously I don't think that's his real mom, but I gotta give him props. He came up with some pretty interesting like ideas and storylines. His videos were only like three minutes long, but they were so entertaining at the time. I always wondered if like he made his voice like that or if he did a special effect. To this day, I don't know. I feel like a mixture of both maybe. This was when going viral was like super easy. My very first YouTube video was uploaded like 13 years ago or something. It's a music video, it's bad. Uh, I got 75,000 views on it before I put it on private. And I was just like, okay. And a lot of people were mean. That's when I realized people could be mean. <laughs> and maybe if this video gets, I don't know, 10 likes, maybe 20. If this video gets 20 likes, I will, I will go through my old videos. This next guy, <laughs> This next guy, his name is Copper Cab. You might have seen his videos. He was on Tosh.0, oh, I think. But I just type in Copper Cab. The first video <laughs> that pops up is called Fight Me, Harold. I just have to watch it real quick. A message for Harold Balder. Yeah, Harold fucking Balder. Harold Balder, everybody. Dang, he actually still uploads videos. Or he did a year ago at least. So the the video that went viral was this one called Gingers Do Have Souls. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to say that it really irritates me when South Park would say that red-haired people don't have souls, okay? Because 
We do. We do have souls, all right? And lately, I've been being called a ginger, a fat ginger, by everybody at school. It's actually kind of sad, to be honest. Like, thinking back at it, like, this man was getting bullied, and this was his outlet to express himself. Teachers have souls! I go to church. I'm a Christian. You're not God. Ooh. <laughs> You're not God. <laughs> so I feel so bad for laughing now because now I know, like, as a kid, I obviously heard him say that, but I was a kid. Kids are fucking heartless. Kids are ruthless. They don't care about feelings. They don't care about what you think. They're children. They say the most like vile things that you can think of. The most vile sentences come from children. They don't care. Put on a gaming headset and see what these nine-year-old, ten-year-old boys are saying to each other. Otherwise, fuck you. Yeah. Bitches, you it. For real. For real. I'm getting sick and tired of everyone making fun of red haired people. Ah, he's a ginger. Ah, he's a ginger. Ah. I will say I dated a ginger and I can confirm that they don't have souls. So he basically would just like make videos of him yelling at his camera. I got a message for you fucking haters, alright, bro? Alright, bro skis? I got the same rights as anyone else around here just because I have red hair. And I'm a ginger. So don't you freaking try to tell me that I can't make videos! I love his approach, like the way he points to the camera, the eye contact. It's cinematic, really. This was the original POV, like you were getting yelled at by this man. Like, you could feel his how he felt when he spoke to you. So there was actually an internet troll who turned him yelling into a song. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Imagine being a white man and feeling oppressed. Dear black people of the world, I know I'm not white, okay? I'm a ginger. I know I'm a ginger, okay? But I have white people in my blood. I have white parents, okay? And I think I can speak for everyone when I say that we're sorry for slavery. And you know, we didn't mean to. You know, it was for the economy, but it wasn't right, and we're sorry. I'm gonna speak for my parents and everyone before them. When I say that they are sorry! Anyway, uh, moving on. We have to highlight the iconic, the one and only, shoes. 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 Oh my god, shoes. Let's get some shoes. Let's get some shoes. These shoes rule. These shoes suck. These shoes suck. These shoes suck! I think you have too many shoes. Shut up! Stupid boy, stupid boy, let's, let's get some shiz, let's, let's party. And I always notice he has something on his tooth in that scene, and it always bothered me. Um, this style runs small. I don't think, I think you're gonna fat. I mean, your, your feet, feet are, are kind of bad. bad. Oh, by the way, bitch. Fuck you! So iconic. Oh my god. Liam Kyle Sullivan, you're a genius. Does he still make videos? He does? <gasps> no way. No, it's 11 months ago. Okay. Um, next, we're going to do the icon. I, I keep saying all of these are iconic, but they kind of are. We all remember this. And how fucking dare anyone out there make fun of Brittany after all she's been through? <laughs> Leave her alone! You know, it's kind of sad how much other people's sorry i dropped my phone it's sad how much other people's pain was like humorous at the time and i mean now chris crocker i don't know what they're up to i don't know what pronouns they use that's just like what the internet was about nowadays like if someone posted a video of them crying and like talking about getting bullied and anyone made fun of it they would get canceled and also it's just very insensitive but the fact that i like i'm re-watching these as an adult i'm like i really thought this was funny as a kid and so did like millions of other people this was another one by chris crocker that i vividly remember a lot of people don't like me that's okay the more haters the merrier but if you don't like me i have something to say to you 
kiss my ass. And don't just kiss my ass. Eat my good old cornhole. You heard me. You don't like me? Kiss the cheeks. Eat the cornhole. And eat it good. Eat my cornhole, hole! This video randomly pops up into my head. Like, at random times, I'll be on the phone for work or I'll be talking to somebody. I just have the urge to say, eat my cornhole, ho! Lip gloss check. Everybody freshen your lip gloss, it's time. These are so dumb. These are just so dumb. I'm like, why did I watch? I spent hours on YouTube watching stuff like this and showing my friends and talking to my friends about it. This next one you may or may not know. I recreated this music video frame for frame. I took a lot of time to do it. I pulled an all nighter when I was like 14 or something. And this is the one and only Let Me Smay It by Young Humma and Flint Flossy. <laughs> I love everything about that. Chocolate rain. Anybody? 16 years ago? 136 million views? Anybody? Anybody? I think this guy was on Tosh.0. Oh. Yeah, he was. A lot of these people were on Tosh.0. Oh. Another one that was on Tosh.0. Oh. This is Mike's, Mike's Golf Shop. Howdy y'all, this here's Mike. Down at Mike's Golf Shop. Where we buy golf. That's, That's right. right. We, we buy, buy golf, golf clubs. clubs. Mike's Golf Shop. Come on over here. We buy golf clubs. Over at Mike's Golf Shop. Come on down here. We buy golf clubs. That's right. We buy golf clubs. 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 Oh my god. I wonder if they buy golf clubs. <laughs> that wasn't funny, I know. Mike's Golf Shop. <laughs> the description is get my ringtone We Buy Golf Clubs by Mike's Golf Shop. <laughs> Imagine. Do, 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 do. We buy golf oh. clubs. We buy what is golf that? Clubs. Oh, it's just my new ringtone. We buy golf clubs. Hello. Howdy y'all, this here's Mike. Come on down here. We buy golf clubs. There are times too where I'm just like literally just chilling and then all of a sudden I have the urge to just yell, We buy golf clubs. We buy golf. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this guy was on Tosh.0 as well. First of all, we have the original interview. The victim tells us that a man broke into her house and tried to rape her. Her brother but it went... The way they just bluntly say that, like they don't even say sexually assault. They just say the R word. Er, trigger warning. Sorry, guys. I was attacked by some idiot from out here in the project. I'm going to just go to the funny part because I'm glad she's okay. Well... Obviously, we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up, trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. It's more the song that was iconic. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. But you can run and tell that, run and tell that, run and tell that. Oh boy, come, come, come. Someone commented, I love that the family is all collectively annoyed. Not scared, annoyed. What is the sex offender shuffle? Why is this popping up on my... <laughs> State of Florida has asked us to close our <laughs> sexual crimes to you. We were bad, but now we're good. What up? Oh my gosh. This was 13 years ago. How did I get here? This is what happens when I just watch YouTube videos freely. Like, I didn't plan this out. Okay, well, that's a new one for me. I woke up to go get me a cold pop. And then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. I still say that anytime I see a fire. <laughs> then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes, shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. And then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. 
Ain't nobody got time for that. Queen, sweet brown. To the apartment, man. And then they, of course, turned it into a song. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Then I thought somebody was barbecuing. 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 I said, oh, oh Lord, Jesus, Jesus is a fire. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. I love this woman. I hope she's doing well. So we all know Charlie the Unicorn, right? Charlie! Oh, they took my kidney, you know? But there was a time where my middle school was obsessed with this song, Look at My Horse. People would play it in the hallways. People would sing it in class. Like, it was, it was our thing. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. It turns into a flame and then it turns back again when you talk on its wing. This is so stupid. And I'm singing along and dancing along, and I'm just like, this is so stupid and nasty and gross and weird. <laughs> why did this, why was this made? Why did I watch this stuff and genuinely think like, yeah, this is cool? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. We're almost done, you guys. I appreciate you sticking with me. This was another YouTube icon and legend, How to Be a Ninja. Hello, everyone. My name is Hanade Waku Soshi Seo Tadashite Teriyaki Suzuki Honda Civic. Su su I can't even say it. Suzuki Honda Civic. My name is Bob. And then his name was Bob. And I remember thinking that was so funny. And it was. It was so funny. The first lesson in being a ninja is to make loud, unnecessary sounds when you hit things. <laughs> what else did he do? He did how to be a ninja, how to be a gangster, how to be emo. That one really spoke to me. And then we have Waffle Pun. And they're still making these. Oh my God, two weeks ago, greatest video ever, 46. Well, we have to watch the original. He is freaking out. <laughs> oh my God. And I don't, I don't care what anyone says. We have all been there. Maybe not to this extreme, but we have all just had that like moment where we were just so mad at whatever we were mad about. <laughs> Goes into the closet and comes back out. What made him look at that remote and think, I'm going to put this up my butt? In what state of mind do you need to be in to do that? <laughs> he sounds like a titan. <laughs> Last but not least, we have to honor the queen of YouTube, Miss Jenna Marbles. Aww, Jenna Marbles. Now this, I haven't watched some of these in a long time. This was 11 years ago. I hate being a grown up. One time I grew into an adult and it really sucked, so I wanted to tell you all about it. I hate being a grown up. How in the fuck do mortgages work? Ew. Taxes. I hate being a grown up. Oh, the DMV. My friends are getting married. Pretty much sums it up. Jenna Marbles, we miss you, we love you, we hope you're doing well. I miss her so much, genuinely. Like, I rewatch her videos every once in a while because they just bring me such comfort that other YouTubers can't do, except for Brittany Broski's kind of like filling that in. She was just such an inspiration to me, and I love her so much, Jenna. I think that will do it. I think that's it. I'm not done with the list. If you want me to make a part two, let me know, but this is too long already. If you have any nostalgic videos that you used to watch, comment them down below so I can check them out. Maybe I'll feature them in my part two if I do a part two. And also let me know if you want me to react to my old videos, because I could do that too. Cool. My name is Maddie, aka your new favorite YouTuber, signing off. I don't have a tripod, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work. No way. I was convinced that my tripod wasn't gonna get here today, but it literally just now came as I'm starting to record. She's gorgeous. Oh my god. I love that I got this whole setup and now I have a tripod and I don't even need it. A bitch was doing a balancing act over here. Yeah.